The topic of the day is Cyber Security Emergency Response. This is the forward. The IoT, Internet of Things, Mobile Internet, Cloud Computing, and Big Data are booming. Emerging technologies are reshaping the world. However, cyber security incidents are still on the rise, increasing people's concern about cyber safety. In year 2017, global cyber attacks such as WannaCry ransomware occur at high rates. It is hard to effectively monitor and provide alerts for unexpected global security incidents. Furthermore, nations tend to be reactive instead of proactive when it comes to security incidents. These topics will provide you with references for security incident responses. So what you can see over here is the objective for this topic. When we finish these topics, we will be able to understand Firstly, the background of cyber security emergency response. We also will be able to see the handling process for the cyber security emergency response, as well as to understand the new trends in cyber security. Firstly, let's see the contents on the background of cyber security emergency response. So, initially, the information security emergency response is occur due to an incident. That incident is what we call as the Morris Worm incident. Morris Worm is actually the first internet worms that occurs in November 1988. It's basically come from a guy which named Robert Tappan Morris, and he, 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 is, he was a graduate student at the time. This Morris form has forced over 10% of internet system to stop working, and shocks the world, which deep, also deeply cornered the computer science professionals. So following to this incident, a computer emergency response team, CERT, and the coordination center, CERT slash CC, for internet security was founded in year 1989. So at that time, the Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, the RPA, has instructed the Carnegie Mellon University for the Software Engineering Institute to develop a communication coordination center which provides a platform to connect the experts for the security emergency as well as to discuss and prevent on the future intrusion incidents. Next, we also have the uh, another uh, Global Forum, which we call it as FIRST, which stands for Forum of Incident Response and Security Teams. So FIRST is the premier organization, and they are recognized worldwide. They are also one of the recognized global leaders in incident response. So FIRST actually brings together a variety of computer security incident response teams regardless they are from government sectors, commercials, and even the education organizations. Their objective is to foster the cooperations and coordinations in the incident preventions. So the first member actually has to grow every year. And up to now, they actually have more than 400 members, which spread over Africa regions, the Americas regions, Asia, 
Europe and Oceania countries. Well, if we actually see the emergency response organizations in China, basically, um, is also pretty much uh, has to do with the emergency response incident team that we talked about early on. So in year 1999, the Computer Emergency Response Team was formed in the Network Engineering Research Center of Tsinghua University. Then that is so uh, solely for the purpose of the uh, Chinese education and scientific research industry user. And the, in the year 2000s, a national computer network emergency response technical terms, technical teams coordination center of China, CNCERT slash CC, was established and become a member under first in year 2002. So, if we talk about this uh, particular uh, organizations in China, basically, the CNCERTCC is a non-governmental and non-profit cyber security technical center. So, it is a core organization that helps to coordinate the cyber security emergency system in China. So, uh, this particular organization also uh, actively participate in the international corporations for the cybersecurity and as of year 2017 this organization has established the uh, CNCRT International Cooperation Partnership with more than 200 organizations across 72 nations and regions. Next, let's see the uh, cybersecurity emergency response. Now in China, basically they have come up with the cyber security laws uh, and it's actually being adopted by the Standing Committee of National People Congress, NPC, in year 2016. This particular security law has come online on June's, 1st of June, year 2017. So this is the first to uh, provide the guideline on cyber security. So what you can see over here is actually the root map of the cyber security law. So this particular cyber security law is actually meant for the purpose of uh, implementing the regulations on personal information protections, regardless of uh, telecoms or internet user, as well as to uh, standardize the uh, handling of the critical information infrastructures as well as to come up with the contingency plans for the cyber security incidents as and etc cyber security incident classifications cyber security incidents are classified as follow in the national emergency plans for cyber security incident Firstly, we have the malicious program, which includes virus, wolves, and Trojan horse. Then we have cyber attack, such as the denial of service attack, the uh, vulnerability attack, the attack scanning, eavesdropping, phishing, then uh, followed by the information breach, which is the uh, Tampering of the information, spoofing, or thief. And then, uh, followed by the information content security, which is the spreading of uh, information which was uh, highly classified or prohibited by laws. We also have the uh, classifications for the equipments and facility which usually has to do with uh, hardware or software fault. And finally, for the disaster uh, in cyber security incidents, such as the uh, uh, natural disasters like tornado, flooding, earthquake, and as well as any sort of uh, natural disasters. Next, the National Cybersecurity Incidents Category. 
So the National Emergency Plan for the Cybersecurity Incidents classified the enforcement solution for Chapter 5, Monitoring, Early Warnings and Emergency Responses of the uh, China Cybersecurity Law. This plan divides the incident into four categories, which correspond to four different warning levels and emergency response levels. So what we can see over here is that the uh, severity of the incidents is actually classified according different uh, priority as well as the uh, colors of warning. So for any sort of serious or uh, server in serious incidents, usually the uh, warning level are the red signal and it is at most to be handled firstly and classified as level 1 response required. Then we also have the serious incidents okay or under the orange signals level 2 response is required and any sort of relative serious incidents we have a yellow signals and level 2 response and finally the ordinary or the common incidents will get a blue signal as well as level 4 response so based on this particular plan the national emergency uh, security team can actually uh, handle and uh, process the events in accordance to the uh, priority of the incidents. So what you can see over here is actually the concept of incident response and emergency response. So according to the um, information security emergency response plan specifications, that emergency response is referring to the preparation made by an organization to respond to emergency and major information security incidents as well as measures taken after the incidents occur. And according to the architecture frameworks of security classification protections for information system, it says the emergency response object of an information system security incidents refers to the security incidents of the information store transmitted and processed by the information system. The incident subject may be caused by nature events, system faults or manual attacks from internal or external personnel. So the emergency response services provided by the emergency response organizations usually has to do with the uh, Firstly, the security consulting services, or the uh, auditing, or risk assessments, uh, intrusion detections, or penetration testing, the uh, security bulletins, as well as the uh, publishing of the uh, vulnerability, the uh, source tracing, as well as recovery, education and training as well as um, organizing the academic exchange activities. Then now we see the Cybersecurity Emergency Response Model, which is called MPDRR, which stands for Management, Protections, Detections, Reactions and Recovery. So this is a very common model in the cybersecurity. So this model is developed based on the uh, PDRR that we talked about just now and it actually uh, inherit the advantage of PDRR, PDRR models and add security management to security technologies. So this is what we can see over here. It basically um, we perform uh, protections, detections, response and recovery and Protection is something has to do with the um, to protect the systems actions such as patching, the access control or encryption on the data information. For the detection will be the uh, 
detecting any sort of intrusions or abnormal behavior by the defense system or our firewall. Uh, response will be something has to do with the uh, actions that is needed to handle the uh, intrusions incidents that we detected or any sort of uh, emergency incidents. Then uh, recovery will be mostly on the uh, restoring the uh, systems if let's say any sort of uh, incidents occur early on. So how fast the recovery process could happen and the device system uh, must be updated all the time to prevent the same incident from happening again in future. Next, we see the cybersecurity emergency response type. So the types of emergency response can be classified into two. Firstly, we have the remote emergency response, and next we have a local emergency response. For the remote emergency response, it basically referring to the uh, emergency response team that handles security incident by phone, email, or fax after they receive the reports from the victim customers. For the local emergency response, they usually are the um, emergency response team that will arrive on site at where the incident occurred. So they will try to locate and find out the issue with the uh, incidents and they try to solve the issues and create a report at accordance to the incidents.